there is the front door of the Greer and the Chandi Bantar outside. Are you going in? Over here, are all my old mates. <laughs> On Saturdays, they let the water come through. That's news to me. Looking rather pretty today. So, walking into the ancestral home is Itabagus Katut. And here's one of the old retainers. And here's Ngura from the palace across the road and the great beauty and all the cousins waiting outside lesser cousins greater cousins are more on the north pavilion Kadir he <laughs> must have put it on his cremation tower that photo here we have the little equivalent of the Chinese firecrackers burning for the end of the ceremony the ceremony today being the first of the uh, Manusa Yadnyas or the Rita Passage of the little baby. Here's all the aunties. Idabagus Eka's little baby. He married a beautiful girl from Ubud. High priest is in the pavilion. The Vedic in High priest is in the pavilion doing his Vedic incantations. There's the big boss again. Here's the little baby talking to his uncle. Right, the village Romeo. Wife complaining he was dancing with the drag queen yesterday. Complain, are you the Facebook? Okay, pretty family scene. Father of the little baby. DJ Burne. Okay, beautiful mother from Ubud. <laughs> Courtyard very much in full swing. It's the first time we've rented a tarib. Ever since marrying into the Ubud grand family, they've no expenses spared for this first son of the Bendesa, Adat, Idabagus Suteja. Black shirt is Idabagus Oka, head of the family now. I used to sleep here for six years. It was beautiful with no walls. This is the little swinging cradle where all the offerings for little baby are. This is the very special pig sort of sala. Tayugade having a chat to the Padanda Istri, the high priest's wife. Once again, she's running all the proceedings, Tayugade. Tayu Madri and her ladies in waiting, blessing all of the family house shrines before the actual ceremony for the baby. Up we go. So here's my Balinese dad, Rato Ajigade, sole survivor of a generation of extraordinary men and women. Now everyone likes these heavily ornate monsters in these tiny courtyards. And I must say, they do look fabulous as a stage set for these big ceremonies. And the Balinese would rather live humbly as long as on the big days they can make it look like. Buckingham Palace just for a few hours. Sara went to Long and it's Long Pankin Kento. Long Kento, to Long Bajang, to Long Bang 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 Bang. To Long! Oh, this is asking for Thanksgiving and everything. <laughs> High priest is now blessing these obscure items. We'll get to the bottom of it later. No one really knows what's going on, but no one's ever not done it. The women tend to know more than the men. Always the sprinkling of the Brahmin holy water. They seem to be symbolizing the baby somehow. They seem to be washing that little coconut branch with a lot of conviction. It seems to be wrapped in that baby's flannel outfit. Masakapan. Natab, cut him a sakap and then. Natab, break it down onto the courtyard floor to do those offerings for these strange little obscure figures. 
Right, we'll now waft the essence of all of these offerings off to the figures. Here we go. The sari, the essence of the offering, is wafted into those totems. By the film star parents. These swings, the ayun on the cradles, very important part of the, the rite de passage, the life rituals the babies until their first autumn and they first touch the ground because until the age of, of 12 or so they don't really touch the ground at the age of six months I mean <laughs> now what they've wrapped it up like a gagalo Almost like an old Polynesian Maori thing. With a bit of background Vedic incantation. This is all ladies' business, of course. Child is just oblivious to the chaos. Three times around, Dio Madri's complaining. Too many times around, she says. No one's counting. Three times is always a Buddhist ritual. Soon I'll have the Blagos worked out. Apart <laughs> Oh, she has to say, I don't have a dog ugly child, I have a handsome child. So that's done. Okay, she seems to be transferring something. Tukar mankin ne bagusinge nunasa, kutang ne jlea, in down ne chole chole chole, the holy water that seems to be doing something. Right, here comes the swing now. It's a rush to get the swing. Here it comes. Things are coming out of that swing. I mean, why would anyone be gay in a society like this? You miss out on all of this. Uh oh, it's happening back here at the Badandas. They're, they're real pros, these ladies, mind you. Being a Brahmin house which also makes offerings, they know exactly what's going on. So there's the grandmother, which what's left of the, of the two um, effigies, and there seems to be a big cucumber inside. Yeah. This wonderful Father Christmas Padanda is from Griya Intaran. This is, now I've seen this in Yunnan in South China. Exactly the same ritual. Mind you, I've seen it in India too. It's always a mystery whether these things originated in South China or have migrated across from South India. But there's a little bit of garlic paste and crown chakra. Right. To protect this little Brahman. Brahman Godchild now has top knot. Terribly important that these Brahman children get everything because one day they might become a pedanda.
that's what it's all about. So he's getting his first little kalong, his first little necklace. Just saying that it's going to be very expensive to raise this child if he has jewellery taste like his father. Um, udang. His first little Balinese Udang, this poor child. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. The bagus. What a look. What a great look. Oh. <laughs> nah. So this is the first time this little Balinese Hindu boy will ask for holy water from the high priest, who's a total sweetheart from Intarantanor, next door to the Jiro Abian Timbal, where I was invited the other night. Now these rituals are to the uh, the offerings are being the essence to the feet, it's for the altar. It's the holy water. Bali, of course, being the religion of the holy waters, Tirta Hagamo. Ah, now they're going to tie on the, uh, the special uh, lemongrass. Satmasaya Dane. Look at Dane, Kiki. Karawista. This is called the Karawista. So it's like a little stomach sesh, but it's around the head chakra. And it means you've had a, a taking part in or have had a fairly major ceremony. Nothing's on the wrist, so that you'll be a good tennis player or a good cook, keep the hands, good writer. Oh, everyone's gone now. They've all gone off for lunch very quickly. We've managed to clear the courtyard. It's record time. That's the way things happen in Bali. It's nothing if not efficient. <laughs> Ten minutes later, it's an empty house. And things are just finishing up here. Baby out. Over and out. Oh, it's spinning around here. Baby will not touch the ground, of course. So. Now it's the baby's first prayer with his grandmother, mother and father behind. In the tradition of Bali, the grandmother sort of really does take care of everything of the first grandchild. Being a little boy, it makes a big difference too, because they then know that he will stay in the compound. And he is really the... well, he's not the crown prince. It's a very naughty one, because Nacha is the elder of the, the cousins. Time for the baby to go into the little swing. One, two, three. This is the special. So, down with the, down with the cradle, okay, that's it for the cradle, until the next baby comes along.